In the last video, I showed you how I plan and prep my dinners for the week. And in today's video, I'm going to be batch cooking two recipes for my Healthy Soups cookbook. Hello my honeys, it's Emmy. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Emmy. I'm a nutritionist and the creator of the Slim on Starch program where you work with me as well as a mindset coach and a nutrition coach to lose weight on a plant-based diet. If you're interested in that, click the link in the down bar. And to get a copy of my new cookbook, The Healthy Soups Cookbook, for immediate download, you can click the link in the down bar. You can get these two recipes as well as tons of other healthy soups recipes that are perfect for batch cooking for the week. All the soups in the cookbook are plant-based, vegan, oil-free, low-fat, and gluten-free. We're going to be starting out with the lentil soup. The lentil soup is super thick and creamy, so if you like a nice hearty stew, this is definitely the soup for you. If it's getting cold out, if it's getting into soup season, this is the epitome of cozy, warm, comfort food soup. That is the one that I have in here. Oh, it smells so good. We are gonna start with the lentil soup. I have my Instant Pot over saute, and that is heating up. I'm gonna add a cup of celery. I'm gonna add in two carrots that have also been diced. This is gonna come out to about a cup of carrots. Next, adding in a half a cup of mushrooms. And now adding in one onion that has been diced up. This is about a cup. And I'm gonna water saute all of this. So I know that traditionally we do saute with oil in normal cooking, but in whole food plant-based oil-free cooking, we're just gonna use water to make sure that nothing is sticking here. So this water will burn off and we'll start to let everything caramelize a little bit, but all you have to do is just keep some water nearby to prevent it from sticking. I put in a little bit too much for now, but that's okay. I didn't want it to burn right from the get-go. So I'll let all this water burn off and we'll continue to water saute these veg. While this is beginning to saute, I'm gonna add in a teaspoon of garlic powder. I'm also gonna add in one and a half tablespoons of tomato paste. And now I'm going to continue to saute all of this. I'm now adding in a tablespoon of dry oregano, three and a half cups of veggie broth. I'm also gonna add in a little bit of cayenne pepper, just a fourth of a teaspoon. Now I'm adding in a cup of dry red lentils. So I'm gonna mix all of this together and I'm gonna bring this to a boil. So as you can see, this is coming to a rapid boil. I'm gonna reduce it to a simmer and let it simmer for 20 minutes. So it's been 20 minutes and the soup has simmered. I'm gonna add in a cup of green beans. I also have this frozen kale. I'm just going to add in a nice big handful of frozen kale. And I might add in another handful. Now, if you wanted to, you could add some flour into this to make it even thicker. I think already it is nice and thick. Uh, we have this gorgeous stew, so I'm gonna pour it into this other pan here. As you can see, it is just absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna finish this off by adding four tablespoons of nutritional yeast to give it some really great flavor. there we have it our beautiful lentil stew I cannot wait to dig into this Recipe number two is the lemon rosemary white bean soup. Now this soup packs a punch. For those of you that are in the warmer climates, this is probably a better soup for you at this time. Or if it's heading to springtime or summertime, it has that lemony, nice freshness to it. Alternatively, you could serve this over wild rice and it would be perfect for the winter time because 
that lemon is gonna clean you out. If you have a cold, forget about it if you're having this soup. Feel free to add in some ginger as well and it really packs the punch. You even could have had this served over pasta and it could be a, a delicious sauce. For the lemon rosemary soup, I'm going to take my pressure cooker, Instant Pot, and I'm going to take a half a cup of diced celery and a half a cup of diced carrots, and I'm gonna start by water sauteing these. I'm also going to add in a cup of mushrooms. And I'm adding in one yellow onion that has been diced up. I've added all of these into the Instant Pot and I'm gonna let the water help with the sauteing process. You don't have to add oil. All you have to do is add a little bit of water to prevent it from sticking. So I'm gonna water saute these for two minutes. And I'm just adding water as necessary to prevent from sticking. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and add in, I have a tablespoon of rosemary, which is the best smelling thing on the planet. A cup of white beans. I'm gonna add in three cups of veggie broth. It smells like Thanksgiving. I'm gonna add in a teaspoon of thyme. Our lemon and I've sliced it up. Oh, there goes the lemon slice. I've sliced it up and I have removed the seeds and I'm gonna put those into the Instant Pot as well. Mix this all together. So as you can see, I have everything in the Instant Pot now and how beautiful all of this look together. It's a gorgeous soup that we have coming along. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the lid onto the pressure cooker and I'm going to pressure cook it for 30 minutes. Always make sure your pressure cooker is on seal and 30 minutes we will do. So it's been 30 minutes and you normally would let this release naturally but yeah, things to do. So I'm just gonna pull it off and oh my goodness, it smells so good. I cannot even tell you how amazing it smells. And it is, it looks just absolutely beautiful. And I'm going to add in a couple of tablespoons of nutritional yeast. I'm going to pour this into a bowl. And there we have it, our gorgeous lemon white bean soup. This would be absolutely beautiful over rice. You definitely would want something, you know, because it's a very it's a very thin soup and it's very it packs a punch that is for sure. You know, it's very lemony. This will clean you out, that I'm sure of. So to put it over rice would be absolutely delicious. If you like this video, then you'll definitely want to grab a copy of my Healthy Soups Cookbook. The link is in the description bar and you can have it immediately. And for more recipe videos, check out the video that's about to pop up on the screen. I love you, honey, and I'll see you in my next one.